Kink.com regularly hosts happy hours where employees and their guests can have a drink and unwind from their week, share their work with their friends, and show newcomers around the impressive facility. This past Friday night, as everyone was doing just that, Kink.com founder, CEO, and happy hour host Peter Ackworth got a troubling phone call from his chief technology officer, Daniel. I was here with a couple of friends of mine, um, one, one person from Santa Cruz and my girlfriend, Elena, and I thought it would be great to give them a tour. And uh, I was upstairs in the office area. I saw the elevator open. I said, hey, why don't we just take the elevator to the bottom? Because, well, I didn't want to walk down two flights of stairs. We get inside the elevator, and I hit the basement button, and the door closes. And at that moment in time is when I realized that, yes, the reason why the elevator door was open because the elevator was actually turned off. And unfortunately, with this elevator, once the door closes, while well, the elevator is turned off, there is no way to open said door again. Okay, so if one gets stuck in the elevator and needs to get out, there's always like, you know, you think that there's like some escape hatch, but no, said escape hatch is actually locked. While most of the happy hour attendees were completely unaware of any problem, Peter and facilities manager Rich were busy trying to free Daniel and his guests from the elevator. So after about an hour and a half of Rich clanging around in the basement, pressing gears and, and switches and the elevator making God knows what kind of noises and us sitting in here hoping we don't drop to our deaths. Um, uh, finally, someone actually did call said fire department and said fire department did come in and uh, basically tore the door open. Hey! Stairs, you stairs. Thank you. Brought some fruit juice? Uh, thank, thank you. you. Complimentary fruit juice. How was it in there? <laughs> it wasn't that bad. <laughs> you guys should fix that elevator right now. <laughs> Damn it. It's something that, that shouldn't have happened. Um, it's uncalled for. And I'm going to make sure that it doesn't happen again. So what did they have to do to that elevator? They had to crowbar it. Yeah, they had to crowbar the elevator. It was. It turns out that the is emergency that, How much release. damage is that, do you think? Bad elevator. They don't. At least your husband was in there with you. <laughs> well, and and I was, at first I thought he did it on maybe, purpose. Maybe better Adrian. if he wasn't in there with you. Well, so you could like, get some game with someone else. Adrian was, our friend Adrian's in there. He mm. was with you us. Tell you what would have happened if he'd been there for a weekend. Well, it's a perfect idea for a scene because you can't leave. You can't go anywhere. You're there with some friends. You want to like show them a good time. And, you know, though good times can be had in the elevator with two beautiful women, when you're stuck, can't get out, it's a little frustrating. What Daniel didn't know is that we're actually filming this for one of our new sites. We're, we're pretty sure it's going to be... I think it's going to be really popular. It's uh, unintentionalelevatorbondage.com. Luckily, Daniel and his guests were able to put the experience behind them and return to happy hour in good spirits. I just I almost wish I could have been in there. What happened? <laughs> Not as much as you would have really liked. <laughs> it does have possibilities for a set, if you ever thought about it. Yeah. I don't need a real wide angle light. I was be like, face pussy. Face pussy. Face pussy. Face. Fire department. Yeah. Kink.com's happy hours could be called many different things, but dull definitely isn't one of them.